Unit 4 Our Needs Chapter 7 The Right Clothes to Wear Important Terms Fabric Material made from wool, silk, cotton, etc. Used for preparing clothes Yarn Thread spun from fibers Blend Mix Hygienic Healthy Barrier Obstruction Toxic Poisonous Harmful why do people wear clothes? Clothes serve many purposes as follows. It protects our body when we do any type of work. It protects the wearer from rough surfaces, insect bites, thorns, and prickles. Clothes protect us from harmful ultraviolet radiation or the sun, cold, dust, and rain. Clothes provide a hygienic barrier keeping infectious and toxic material away from the body. They reduce the level of risk during the course of work and play. The Japanese women's dress, the kimono. Clothes make us look smart and feel confident. Clothes designed for special occasions are often considered fashionable in terms of design. The wearing of clothes also have social implications. They are worn to cover those parts of the body which social norms require to be covered. Clothes also determine the nationality or the region to which an individual belongs. For example, the national dress of Indian women is sari, that of Japanese women is kimono, and Indian women in a sari. People wear special clothes to do specific tasks. The doctors and nurses wear white coats. A soldier wears a uniform made from tough material. Policemen and postmen have different dresses. Every school has its own uniform, doctor, soldier, student, policeman. Types of fiber. Fibers are the basis of all textile products. Textile materials are made in three stages as follows. 1. Spinning. Fibers are spun into yarns. 2. Weaving or knitting. Yarns become fabrics. 3. Finishing. Fabrics are finished to make them more useful. Factual School Mahatma Gandhi made his own clothes on a small hand machine called Charka. He called the special cloth Khadi. Charka There are two types of textile fibers as follows. 1. Natural 2. Synthetic Factual School Silk is a natural fiber whose continuous filaments are up to 1 km in terms of length. Natural Fibers Natural fibers come from plants and animals. They usually have short fibers called staple fibers. Natural fibers from plants. Cotton comes from the cotton plant. Cotton is used for making jeans, shirts, and towels. Linen comes from the flax plant. Linen is used for making summer clothing, tea towels, and tablecloths. Natural fibers from animals. Wool comes from sheep. Wool is used for making sweaters, suits, and blankets. Silk comes from silkworm. Silk is used for making evening wear and neckties. Properties of natural fiber. Soft to handle. Cotton. Cotton plant. Cotton shirt. Durable. Sheep. Woolen sweater. Synthetic fibers. Synthetic fibers are man-made. They usually come from chemical sources. They are long filament fibers. They do not always have to be spun into yarn. Fiscos comes from pine trees or petrochemicals. It is used for making shirts, dresses and linings. Acrylic, nylon and polyester come from oil and coal. They are used for making socks, jackets, seat belts, etc. Properties of synthetic fibers. Dries quickly. Soft to handle. Durable. Can be recycled. Easily managed. Fiber blends. Blending different fibers together produces yarns that have the combined properties of each component fiber. Fiber blending improves the appearance, performance, comfort and aftercare of fabric. It also reduces the cost of an expensive fiber. Polyester, cotton blend and cotton lycra blend are two major fiber blends. Clothes and climate. We wear different kinds of clothes in different climates. We prefer wearing light-colored clothes made of cotton or linen in summer. Light-colored clothes reflect sunlight. Cotton clothes let the body heat escape and keep us cool.
prefer wearing dark colored clothes made of wool in winter. Dark colored clothes absorb heat and keep us warm. Woolen clothes also prevent body heat from escaping. In rain season, waterproof clothes are worn over clothes to escape from getting wet. Raincoats, umbrellas, and gumboots are made of waterproof material. Therefore, they do not allow water to pass through them and thus prevent us from getting wet. Caring for clothes Wash your clothes with good soap or detergent for removing sweat, dirt, and stains. Wash woolen and silk clothes with the help of detergents like easy. Dry wash clothes under the sun to kill germs. After drying, iron the clothes properly. Mend your tone cloth in time. From time to time, keep woolen and silk clothes under the sun for some time. Insects like moth and silverfish attack woolen clothes. Keep moth balls or dried neem leaves with them before they are packed to keep the insects away. Pack toes cold. People wear special clothes for specific parts of body. Socks and shoes protect our feet. Hat or cap is worn on head. Gloves are used in hands to protect from cold. Moth balls. Dried neem leaves. Clothes dry in sun. Teachers note. Explain to the children that clothes vary from state to state. Fact file. 1. Wool also comes from the hair of camels and rabbits. 2. People of different regions wear different kinds of clothes. Let's summarize. 1. According to different occasions and seasons, we wear different clothes. 2. Clothes protect us from the heat of the sun, cold, dust and rain. 3. Clothes are made of either natural fabric or synthetic fabric. 4. Natural fabrics are made of fibers we get from plants or animals. 5. We wear cotton clothes in summer to keep us cool.